Hello, this is Star Dragon. Welcome back to another video of Gatch Impact today. So today, this is going to be a little bit of a walkthrough. It's going to be like a 30 minutes long walkthrough for a war quest. This is going to be a first war quest on uh, Gatch Impact 3, um, 3.6 when you get start begins. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a walkthrough. If you guys do like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe there, hit the bell side, and leave a like on there if you do. And if you, got, if you do, then I'll, I'll make another walkthrough video. I haven't even done the other one yet. I don't know why. Probably this thing is getting away. But anyway, let's get into a video. I just need to pull it up. So in the first off here, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put music on too, just in case <laughs> for you guys. It won't be too loud. <clears throat> you got in the in the video it doesn't have any audio in this one, so yeah. I think you can you guys probably can still hear it a little bit. Hang on. Alright. So let's get in through it. So when you start a world quest in the 3.6, it's a, it's a new world quest. Uh, you won't you won't go and quest right, right away though. You get to be um, going around in the, in the desert. And instead, you actually search for an object. It's gonna be somewhere in the desert. It should show you where it is though. It just needs like um, it just needs to be located in the map in order to do that. After you found it, that's what it looked like. All you need to do now is just like bring it back to uh, to the adventure guild, or what you call it, to Capron. Yep. So you just need to bring it back to her, then that's when the quest begins. Carmen is good and evil. That's where it starts. Now next place to be located is going to be a new region that came out. Then you only thing you need to do now is get headed to a place that where the the man is. I, <clears throat> I don't know if it's never the guy's name, but uh, be careful though. When you go near him, you will start a fight after you've done it with the talk. Oh, by the way, I skipped through. I skipped through an introduction of those things. So in the for a quest. So yeah, it don't, it's not gonna be a very long. I already mentioned it thirty minutes. <laughs> yep, you will start a fight here. It won't get only just gonna be a one on one fight. So he's not even that powerful, even though he's level ninety three. You will meet this one. <clears throat> You will meet this one, and you're actually going to need to equip it. It's going to be in your inventory after after you're done the talk. So you need you have to equip it. Okay, you will start with the quest after that, but first you need to follow it. There's also going to be a thing on the way there to the trap, but uh, it doesn't really matter those things because you you still can even get going to easily make it anyway. Only thing you need to do is just glide down. You only have, you have to make up there. And you will start beating these monsters. They're in the way. That's just part of the quest. The monster not even that hard anyway. As long as you have the right character. Now you just need to follow where it need to lead you. You just need, still need to follow it though. And I recommend do not attack the turtle because it's not going to do anything. Tanking a turtle is just going to be a, a suicide mission. <laughs> just need to break the rocks. It look breakable. You need a plunge attack or a claymore character in order to break it. I just like to do plunge. 
and we'll have a seal lead in order to unlock the gate that I've been sealed. You don't have to fight the enemies, you just need to walk past them. But I would prefer to fight them anyway. Like I already mentioned, you don't need to. And you can keep going up until you reach uh, until you reach to the guy. But make sure you press V or if you're using computer, press V or else can you if you're using something else? Then yeah, I recommend pressing something. Or you can do navigation. I use the computer, so I press V. I don't know how the Xbox or controller works. Yep, you need you need to keep going up. And you, until you see a man up there. It should be all the way on the top. This is when you will be able to equip it and start doing a puzzle for with the with the with the um the parts. That's when you need to start to equip it. Now this is where the puzzle is going to be. It takes time to uh, to get used to it, but eventually it still should be easy. You will have to use a long way even in your free time and into this new region. Not a new region, but a new map. Sorry about that, I just still got to kind of getting used to it, so yeah. I still looking for the button to go down, that's all. And how to return back. In order to return back fast, you're using the keyboard and you just press Z, but yeah. Now next stop, you we have to go in a, in, a, in a distance of 400 meters, but you can teleport there. If we're close to where the boss is, to teleport where you, where you want to be in there. But um, yes, Just, uh, if, you, if you haven't unlocked the waypoint, then I'm, I'm assuming you're going to have to walk. After that, you will actually find a Steely. You will actually need a Steely in order to um, gain access opening to a new places in a cave. If you did find a chest, then yes, that does mean that you are unlocked. And these things you will be unlocked with the with the um, gadget you already equipped. But it just it just it play through just to let you guys see how it works first. Then you're actually you're going for a real one after that. But it depends if you want to do it or not. Just press E, that's all you need to, to, to unlock that. That one is optional, then where it have to be. If you go in the cave, you will see a spine dragon. I guess like you call it a spine dragon. After through a dialogue, it will lead you into a, a um, deeper and through a cave. Chest, you can do it right now or later. It, you, it's depending on how you want to do it. I rather, I rather recommend you do it right now in order to get it, and you have to go backward. But 
Not like you need to though. Go deeper into a cave, it will lead you outside. And this is the first puzzle, it's gonna be a bell puzzle. Activate it, then you will actually have to do a magnum just to run up in the next bell, bring it up, and go to the next bell until you reach to the end. It should be three bells in total, and this is gonna be the last one. You just need to unlock it, the way up to, uh, to get all the way on the top. You just make it easier. I recommend doing this way, because then, then that way you don't have to like climb on the mountain. Unless you like climbing. Your way is still the fastest way. Why not? It's there. There's going to be another dialogue in here. If you're going to be skipping through it, then you get to a get to a point. Then after that, you need to go into a tree. That's just the music how it is, it's not lagging or anything. If the music is a little loud, I'm sorry about that. Now you will meet another one there. Uh, if you if you if you've been through a desert and and you already meet it and you can't interact with it though, you can ask me that because you need to interact with the quest first. Here gonna be some puzzle you need to do, but first of all, you need to grab something. First, go to a location. I'll speed through this one because you just because it's just a bunch of like you know. Now the only thing you need to do now is just grab a steely. In order to unlock the cave, the steely should, should, should be in the left hand corner in the in, should be a right hand in the corner in, in um, when you actually started it, where the quest was. You need a, you will need an anima character for this one. Which I think most of you should know. You don't need to use a electro for that one, I just made a mistake. That's it the world quest if you want to grab it or not, that depends on you. You want to find it. But for now, we do no quest. Now you just need to grab all the copy jumps that are located. You will have to beat the enemies in order to grab it. That's where that's where a fight's gonna be. After you grab all of it, I will I will start explaining how it actually works. Because most of them, most of you have a problem with this. Yes, and I mean, when I say most, I mean it's like almost everyone. <laughs> I don't know why.
there should be a little trick to it but first you need to grab all all the stuff first it should be it shouldn't be that hard to grab all the all the um copy of it because you're gonna be it's gonna be located on your map anyway so I can just just go go ahead and skip through the, the place the playthrough a little bit After you got the drum, they hear the next puzzle. This one, the only thing you need to do is just um. After you got the drum, you have to this one in order to get this one, you have to light up all the all the torch. You will find it in the in front of you where the drum is going to be, and just go all all the way to the seven avatars that uh, light them up, and you should be able to unlock it. But there is a time limit on it, so don't uh, don't kind of hesitate. Just keep going. Just look for the one that have two um uh, two torches in the side and one in the center. That that should be an avatar you should be laying up for, and it should be in pattern if you know where you're going. That's the dead end there. Just look to the right. That's all. And the one on the top. That that's, that's where people got kind of got mis mistaken to. Now you know where it is. Last one. Now I should unlock the drums. But that's just only one. Our oh. By the way, I got three drum. There are three drum in total, but I already got one drum during the during my time throughout in in the, in a new place. So sorry, I didn't I didn't actually um get that part. But there is two, another two drum in here. I need to grab this. It's gonna be a second one here. But don't worry, it's just gonna locate every drum along the way. And the first and the drum I actually got is not gonna be that hard either. That's why, that's why only in this video only showed two. I didn't even know what it was at first. There you should, you should see a spirit. If you don't see it, I mean you already done it. Just follow the spirit. <laughs> There's gonna be some puzzle here. After that, how to drain the water. You can use all the methods you had you can get in order to get it. I'll show you the even method to do it. First first thing you have you have a gadget, you put it on. Oh by the way, um this one the gadget right here, uh this hang on I think I already skipped through it but anyway though it helped you glide very faster so I recommend it red it's called red fan okay red fan flame that's what it's called I can't remember the name though it helps increase your gliding speed though if you guys have problem with it use a tall character and equip this you can actually get this from a black um I'm assuming you can get it from a bounty. I'm assuming it could be a blacksmith between one of those, but I know you can get it. Most you should already have it. It helps a little. Yeah, you have a problem with it. Make sure you use a tall character. It helps. It very helps. I guarantee you that.
Now a water drain that you can go for the next one. Also it can't stay in commitment to drag out all, all the particles. And that was my mistake there falling the river river. And this is, this is part of the glitch, so you can't even climb up there, you have to go around it. I don't know why. I just say it's just a glitch. Hopefully they fix that. And it is early into a game too. After this last particle, the water to drain even more. And you see where it's point of location, you can't go there yet. Just go out, just doing all, all the all particle quests there, just to collect them all. Until you collect them all, then you will be able to drain the water completely. This is actually your last one of a puzzle in order to drain all the water. Make sure to swim slowly though, because I have a high stamina, so it doesn't really matter. But I also have Coco Me in my team, so it reduced my swimming speed. It reduced my stamina consumption consumption for swimming. All water drain. After that, you have to head for a location where it actually uh, leading you. Get the drum, and the only thing you need to do now is teleport somewhere else. Just go straight to the location. Now next, this here is a wonderful puzzle, but first you need to put all, all five drums into, into a tree, where the where location is going to be, before you can actually even start. And this one, I, did, I, just tried, I just tested it out, I had to do it several times in order to get to what, what's going on. So yeah. I'll explain it until you, get all, until you can get all the drums in, that's all you need to do first. You can actually do it even without putting them in, but the, but the key is you have to put it in in order to do it correctly. After that, you need to do a volume of drum here. So I will tell you one. This one is going to be half, kind of like I'm um, a half color here. That means you have to do a normal attack, which is going to be a main attack. And then empty, you just need to not do anything. Just leave it for like two point half, two like two seconds and a half. And this one is also going to be a um, normal attack. And this full one, full color here, is going to be a plunge attack. So for each of these, every every two second and a half, you have to wait. After that, then you can launch your attack. So this one instead is going to be attack. Nothing, attack, and plunge. And also to make sure another thing is like, um, it has this right, so you're gonna need a, it says Electro, so you're gonna need a Electro character. But I don't know that that actually how it works, but it's assuming that it is. So click for start perform. That's when you can start. Hit, wait for two, two uh, has like two seconds and a half, and start again. So this one is gonna be attack, plunge, nothing, plunge. And you need a Hydro character for this one. You can tell by a symbol that's Hydro. I 
actually I'm kind of skipped through, so sorry about that. I just want to skip through what I, like an example of it. That's all I did. But you will get the point along the way, so there's going to be five of them. This one going to be here is going to be attack, 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 and plunge. And make sure each one of them, you have to wait for two seconds and a half. At least. At least two seconds, I actually say. Depending on how fast you are. You can tell by the, by the yellow glowing object. That's it, it's starting to begin. Until, until it do like this, you have to wait until it gets a lot, until this turn on, wait for one second. But don't wait too, too long or else you're going to have to start repeating it again. Now after that unlocked, you can go to a, go to a location. Go back there. Here, next part of the puzzle. And this one, you will need your gadget uh, equip. Follow where Sealy go. But this one, you have to in order to you have to, in order to get the Sealy moving, you have to uh, get the purple mist in the swamp all away. And there won't be uh, some puzzle you have to do. There also going to be some fight along the way. When I say fight, it's not really a fight fight, it's just really a combat bombing. <laughs> Use your gadget in order in order to uh, get it. Once this point, you need for the other one. To get another fruit in order to new in order to new the combat. Now you get the near drop it down onto the ground. Make sure you're at a high. Make sure you're in a high altitude, doing it. Cause I don't know why. Maybe in the first quest it's just like that's how it act, that's how it act. But early on the early on in the game it doesn't happen like that. That's why it's low altitude, but. Maybe they already have. We recommend you have a have a certain amount of altitude in order to do it. So make sure you go higher, a little bit higher than how I did it. So all right, hang with me in there. It's gonna be eight more minutes left. There also be a, there also a spirit there. You can unlock it if you want. There's gonna be a total of three. But that's up to you if you want to do it right now. But we're going to head to a doing the finishing the quest. Looking around, analyzing where it is, looking, looking for the puzzle, found it. Now grab a fruit on a, on the side and it's in the same tree. You drop it down. And you there is a limit of it, so it should be enough. More than enough. If you ran out, you can go back and, and uh, grab it again. It's part of the glitch, so I don't know why. Yep, 
Yeah, that part is a glitch. So you shouldn't be able to, um, I don't know you would be able to um, respond to this glitch after that. Because I heard they also they also did some uh, maintenance, maintenance on their, uh, fixing their array. So you shouldn't be able to experience that problem. For me, because this is early through the game, so that's why I have technical difficulty of doing it. And that just follow the Sealy. I'd rather stay in the radius of the Sealy. Open a new path in there. Just go into it. I don't know why I show you right now. I shouldn't though. Maybe get to, maybe because I want to get the primal gem. Primo gem or primo gem, however you want to say it. The seal will not activate it unless you can uh, unlock it first in the other side. So do the same method you did before. It will start having a quest, you have to save them. <laughs> I would plan to script it, but I decided not to. The line along is actually very, very funny. To follow a puzzle. <laughs> you hear the fight you had to do? All I need to do is just press D, go back. Oh, by the way, you can't do it far away either. You do it too far away, it's gonna, it's gonna go back. Hyper Bloom is always a bomb. <laughs> Recommend Hyper Bloom in, in Sumeru. As the dialogue comes, to follow it. You have to beat the enemy in order to, in order to uh, pass. Enemy is not going to be too hard. If it is, I recommend having a healer. You can't you can't have a friend in here, or else the quest won't won't work. Or at least that's how I experienced at first. I don't know if you can do it right now, but that depends. I'm assuming that you can't still. Correct me if I'm wrong. You will need a Sealy. I actually went past it. I didn't really see it. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, you have to worry how to pick it up. You already made it, so we get back where we can go to a different location. And feel dialogue over there, it's gonna be an end. <clears throat> I died, that's my fault. <laughs> People made a mistake sometime, I guarantee you when you should actually have that happen at least once. Alright. That's all you need to do. That's part one already that I already completed it. If you wanna see a part two, just let me know. I actually will actually plan to do part two already. It just flew out the quest. I won't be live streaming. So you guys can actually catch me until then. <laughs> you will need the gadget, same gadget in order to uh, move up to the next one. All right, that's the end of part one there. You guys see one in the next one? Yeah, make sure you don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell side. I will actually ask you going to make a part two, and I'll catch you guys on my next video, man. Peace out, yo.